the cross-section and size of the profile are of great importance for the bearing capacity of the structure. For example, if we take two pipes with the same metal consumption, but one has a cross-section of 40 on 40 mm and the other one has a cross-section of 20 on 20 mm, the pipe with a cross-section of 40 on 40 mm will have a much better load-bearing capacity. Good afternoon. Today we've decided to test different pipes. The fact is that the load-bearing capacity of a pipe depends not only on its thickness, but also on its size. For example, if we take two pipes, 40 on 40 with a thickness of 1 mm and 20 on 20 mm a thickness of 2 mm, with the same metal consumption, the 40 on 40 pipe will perform much better under static loads. Right now, we will carry out a dynamic analysis using my weight to see how the pipe behaves. This is a 20 on 20 pipe with a thickness of 1.5 mm. They are all assembled the same way, so 110 kg is how this pipe reacts. As you can see, the pipe spreads under load due to the weight. Next, the 25 on 25 pipe with a thickness of 1.1 mm. This pipe has less metal consumption than the 20x20 pipe with a thickness of 1.5 mm. So, it is clear that the pipe spreads much less and holds much better. And of course, the 30 on 30 pipe with a thickness of 1.2 mm is dead still. If we consider different structural options, it is better to choose a variant where the profile size is larger but the metal thickness may be smaller. The same principle applies to the 40 on 40 pipe with a thickness of 1 mm. It will hold loads much better and be easier than a 20 on 20 pipe with a thickness of 2 mm. To maintain the experimental integrity, we decided to conduct a small test. We took two pipes. One pipe is 40 on 40 with a thickness of 1 mm. The second pipe is 20 on 20 with a thickness of 2 mm. Now we will check how equal they are in terms of their load-bearing capabilities. Let's take a 20 on 20 pipe. 2 mm thick. We have a little load, the pipe bent under my weight. We take a 40 on 40 pipe, 1 mm thick. The same metal consumption, the same amount of metal, but a different profile. The pipe has not deformed. What does it mean? It means that the cross-section and size of the profile have a great importance for the load-bearing capacity of the structure. By playing with these sizes, we can obtain higher bearing properties of the structure at lower metal consumption. And it is exactly what we are doing. We carry out various experiments and create various designs to understand which structure has good load-bearing capacity and at the same time has low metal consumption. This is basically an elementary technique on how to properly select a profile with the same metal consumption, that is, the bearing capacity of this profile is completely different, IT was Oleksandr and the company, live in harmony with nature and to the beat of progress. I hope this was useful and interesting for you, and we will move on to our greenhouses.